Hey everybody, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and in this video I'm going to be showing you what I'm selling on eBay this week. Now if you want to bid on any of the items that you see in this video, please do. Happy bidding. I'll put the link down below in the description box to my eBay page. So just go on there, go to items for sale and then just scroll and scroll until you find something or some things you would like to purchase. I do everything, pretty much everything anyway, as uh, bids, so auction. Um, and yeah, hopefully you'll find something you'd like to buy. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm selling and I'm going to start right now. Okay, so got a bit of a mixture this week, got some clothes, books, just some random things as well really. So first of all, I'm selling this brand new hardback book called The Nix by Nathan Hill. Originally, I did get this for myself, but I've just got so many books and it's such a big one, I think it's going to take me ages to read. So I thought, you know what, someone else will enjoy it and read it. So this is on there. Um, this book here, I've just finished reading and I have to say, and I'm not just saying it because I'm trying to sell it either, <laughs> it is such... A good book like seriously uh, so this is you are not alone by Greer Hendrix and Sarah Pekinine Pekinine Pe I don't know how to say that um, but it's really good they also wrote uh, the wife between us um, which I haven't read but it's supposed to be like a bestseller and uh, a book they wrote also that I loved was the anonymous girl so um, yeah this really really good a uh, twisty thriller so well wrote I was literally like ah like loving it so uh, if you like thrillers definitely recommend this one here this is a paperback book okay i've got a hair accessory here this is brand new with the tags um from primark and it is this green like light green minty color kind of animal print sort of thing so i got this for myself um but i just i don't know i went to put it on me obviously i still had the tags on just in case i didn't like it and i just think it looks silly on me it's just too big for my little head i don't know maybe i'm being paranoid but i'm gonna pop it on ebay and see if anyone else wants it as i say it's literally a brand spanking new with the uh the tags attached also nathan has given me a few little bits and pieces to sell this week um but i'm gonna put some of them on next week but I thought I'd just pop this hat on this week this is a woolly hat uh, it's just plain black and uh, it says on it Call of Duty World War 2 so if there's any gamers out there and obviously winter is going to be coming up soon your head's going to be cold uh, this is a unisex hat I mean obviously he's a man and he's got it but you know it doesn't matter what gender you are you can wear a plain black Call of Duty hat so uh, yeah that is on there Right, so I'm going to show you some stuff that sadly has not sold. Here's the thing with me. Um, I put things on eBay. If they don't sell the first time, I just relist and relist and relist until I think I'll give it about like five times and then I just give away to charity stuff that I can't sell. But um, I do try a few times because you never know when someone's looking for, you know, a certain something or whoever just happens to be on eBay or people may see stuff in videos that they didn't see the previous time, etc. So it's always worth giving them another kind of relist. But um, yeah, this is still not sold. I don't know why. Now, maybe with Christmas coming up, someone would like this as a gift for someone else or just treat yourself. It's the Space Invaders bath set um you know the retro space invaders game come on this is great <laughs> um, it includes a sponge and shower gel brand new as you can see originally from primark um so yeah it's pretty cool in the box and everything it is on there i have reduced the price that's something else i do as well if things don't sell for a few weeks as much as i don't want to because obviously i'm not going to make as much profit i just want to get rid of stuff at the end so i ended up um like reducing stuff sometimes so I think I've put this down to like 50p now. So come on, grab yourself a bargain if you like the old Space Invaders. Okay, this also didn't sell. Um, Moshi Monsters rucksack. It's a kid's rucksack. It's so cute. I love this. I don't get why it's not selling. It's really weird with eBay. It really is a gamble. Right, some of the st stuff I put on there, I think, ah, you know, I probably made a mistake buying that to sell. It's probably not going to sell. And it does really well. And then something I think, aha, this is going to be a good sell. It doesn't sell. So, you know, it is really a gamble um but yeah mosh, moshy monsters look how cute the little moshies are <laughs> so that's on there okay so this has got a watcher at the moment but uh, no bids as yet this is so beautiful like it's so lovely and it's brand new uh this is from boots originally and uh it's called the daily toast breakfast set so it contains one side plate one cereal bowl and a jumbo mug so there's the plate and the bowl it's really cool i love this um but yeah i, I thought this would be a you know a really good thing to sell but yeah it's just one watcher so far um so yeah that's that that's on there all brand new and it's from a famous designer as well hold on if i turn it around 
Nick Holland. That was it. Nick Holland Design. So, yeah, that's on there. Okay, this is a Zara dress. Now, it looks red in this light, but I can promise you it's not. It's actually bright orange. Um, so, it's, yeah, Zara Woman. And it says size large. But I've looked it up and it's like a 12 to 14. But, yeah, this is weirdly looking red. But it is bright orange. <laughs> Okay, also, I'm still trying to get rid of the uh, the slimy balls. That sounds so wrong on every level. But, yeah, the Orb Oddity slimy balls in purple. Uh, it's very squishy. And no one seems to want it. Now, I would keep it for myself. But, hey, I've already got one because I bought two at the time. One for me, one to sell. Um, but, look, you can splat it and squeeze it and squash it. and It's very good for, like, if you're anxious as well. Uh, so if It's like a therapeutic thing. We can just squeeze and squeeze. And it's quite calming, like, as a distraction thing. Um, or, you know, just for a kid to sit and play with. <laughs> Okay, this fella here is called an evil furry mask. Um, and he's pretty evil looking. I think it's kind of, as I said last time, he's based on uh, Five Nights at Freddy thing. You know, the haunted, scary, creepy freaking bears. Um, so, yeah, if you're into Five Nights at Freddy or if you know someone who is, or just if you want to dress up as a really scary teddy bear for Halloween, this is perfect for you, surely. <laughs> Okay, next up, um, I actually got this brand new um, from a charity shop to sell on. And this is a single duvet cover with pillowcase and it's in the night garden. So yeah, literally, it is brand new in the packaging. I got it for like 150 or something and I was like, oh, it's a bargain. Um, so yeah, if your kids like this, this is for a single bed, obviously. And um, I don't know anything about this show at all. There you go, it's a bigger version of it, so you can see. I don't know any of the names, the characters, I don't know anything. I think Nathan does. Nathan's niece watches this, or she did watch it when she was younger. I'm going to ask him if he knows the name of the In the Night Garden people. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Do you know the names of any of the night In the Night Garden people? Um, Iggle, Is, Piggle. I, Iggle, see, he does know. Iggle, Piggle. Iggle, Piggle, uh, Akapaka. <laughs> Akapaka? No, Maka. Makapaka. Oopsie days. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Um, there you go. So he, he knows more than me. Um, but yeah, this is brand new. So um, it's already got some bids on it, which is good. But yeah, if you want it, go grab it. It's on my eBay page right now. Okay. Also, I'm selling this uh, endangered species panda and baby figurine um so this is from the regency fine arts uh, obviously a famous brand they make lots of like you know um, ornaments and stuff so this is the panda and baby so i'll take him out really well take them out not him because there's two of them to show you hold on ah, be careful i don't want to drop him there we go show yourself <laughs> there we go how cute is this and yeah obviously they are uh, this is part of the endangered endangered species uh set there are a few different ones i looked up on google and they have different animals as well um but yeah this is cute how cute how can you not want to buy this it's pandas hello please buy us on ebay anyway okay next up i have this um brand new cool rock painting kit so here's the thing um, <laughs> the beginning of lockdown, when they said everyone was going to be locked in the house, not literally locked in, but you know what I mean. Um, and you know, we wouldn't be able to go out, etc., etc. I wonder what that fluff was. It's just fallen off the bear, but it's fine. Look, he's still very furry. It's only a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they told us we were going to be in lockdown and I was like, oh, you know, I don't want to get bored just sitting in. It's ended up after all these months, we've always had something pretty much to do every day. You know, it just worked out that way but at first we were like oh i know you know we need to get stuff so if we are stuck indoors that we can do so we've got some games we've got some arts and crafts stuff etc uh, lots of books obviously i had plenty of book in yeah book um you know stuff but th this is the thing that i thought i would be doing in lockdown uh rock painting because rock painting has become quite a popular thing and i was like yeah i'm gonna sit and do this you've got these little transfers you've got paints you've got the rocks like i'm gonna make some beautiful rock designs uh in lockdown however <laughs> it never happened and nathan found it actually in the drawer and he was looking for a pen or something he said you've never done this rock painting i was like oh no and he's like why don't you do it later i was like i don't want to because I just thought, I don't, I don't really fancy doing it now. Maybe I'm going to regret this because I might think in a few months' time, I wish I had a rock painting kit. But there we go. I thought, it's just sitting in a drawer. I'm not using it. And someone could really enjoy doing this. Like, it's so, 
nice but at the end of the day i'm useless at arts and crafts as much as i enjoy it i'm not very good um you know there are a lot of people who are good at design i mean look at these designs on here they're so pretty um so yeah i've put this on ebay as say it's brand spanking new in the box so that is on there Okay, we've got another book here. This is a young adult book uh, that I read recently. Really recommend this book. I actually did a whole uh, video about this book. It's called The Assignment and it's by Liza Weimer. Um, so I, this book was just so touching. I'm not going to go into it all now because this is an eBay video. If you want to watch more and um, find out more about this book, um, I do, as I say, have done a video about it, like a book review. Um, but it's absolutely amazing. It's called The Assignment and uh, it's just very thought provoking. And it says here, would you speak up for what is right? Um, it's about an actual true case, uh, what happened in a school in America where a teacher wanted to do a, a really horrible assignment and uh, two of the students actually stood up um, and they didn't want to do it. And anyway, I'm not going to ruin the story. But yeah, this is on it. It's a hardback book. And uh, honestly, it's really good. I really recommend you read this. Okay, next up, we've got this kid's T-shirt. This is an Angry Birds T-shirt. It says, I rule the roost. Um, hold on, I've got to check what age it is because I can't remember. There you go, age 11 to 12, there you go. Um, it's kind of me, really. I rule the roost. Well, in my mind, I think I do. In reality, I probably don't. <laughs> but yeah, if your kid likes a bit of Angry Birds, this is great. <laughs> okay, next up, I'm selling this crystal lamp. It's kind of like a lava lamp, but not. It's one of these like sparkly, glitter, crystal-style lamps. Um, this is originally from New Look as well, as you can see there. Um, I don't think they sell it anymore, so it's very rare. Must get a hold of, hint, hint. Get yourself an amazing rare item. But yeah, so originally I thought this was going to be pink, but when I got it home, it's actually purple. I'm seeing if there's a purple picture on the side. Yeah, see, look, it was t uh, clicked as pink, but it's actually more this colour here, which like you can't really see in this light, but it's purple. Now, if you go on the actual listing on my eBay, um, there's a photo of it. And I'm sure I included a, uh, included a picture of it plugged in, lit up, so you could actually see sort of more detail um, and all of this stuff that I'm going to show you in this video if you do want more information and, and clearer photos and stuff of every item go on my listings and uh, there will be lots of information and, and clear photographs and stuff like that but yeah this is a purple one um, very sparkly and but it's just not the color I wanted because I thought it was pink <laughs> but if you like sparkly purple then it'll be perfect for you <laughs> Okay, so I've also got, it's a little bit early to talk about Christmas, or is it ever too early to talk about Christmas? People love Christmas. I mean, I'm Jewish, and I still love Christmas. <laughs> but, um, yeah, these are really cool. These are brand new, and they're from the Leonardo collection. They've got watches on them now. They didn't sell last week, but there are a couple of watches on them now, which is good. Um, maybe it's just a little bit too early for Christmas stuff. I've also got um, a double Christmas duvet set and pillowcases to put on next week. So um, that'll be on the next week. But, you know, some people like shopping for Christmas in advance. That's the way I was thinking. If not, maybe I'll keep them, like, till, like, November time. But... Anyway, these are just like lovely light up Christmas trees. They're sparkly. Um, just a nice little thing to, you know, put on the table and stuff and decorate at Christmas. So you've got the gold sparkly one and you've also got the silver sparkly one. And as I say, they're brand new in the box from the Leonardo collection. Um, so they're, they're on there. What else have we got? Lots of clothes coming up in a moment to show you. But what I'm going to do is hang them on here just so you can see the items better instead of me just laying it down like I did that dress um but anyway so we've also got this bag this finally has a bid on it because it hadn't had a bid for a couple of weeks um it's the wonder woman bag the dc superheroes i think it is brand new with tags look at this uh, yeah dc superhero girls there we go the lovely wonder woman there I did say at the end um, of last week, if it didn't sell, I'll keep it. Um, and then it got a bid on it. So, you know, hey, that's the way it goes. Cookie crumbles and all that jazz. But yeah, this is on their big record bag. So, um, yeah, if you want to beat the person who's bidding, <laughs> bid, bid, bid. This bag, sadly, has no bids. How is this not selling? It's Winnie the Pooh. Like, I thought everyone loved Winnie. Uh, so this is a little rucksack here. Got honey and smile. Got a little piglet there. Both, you know, happy, smiley people now this this has been on there for <laughs> weeks i got this originally from poundland um but i just yeah I, I sold two which was good a really nice lady bought the other two uh for her grandchildren she was lovely to deal with and um i'm just kind of stuck with this one now you know look it's all new in the packaging it is 
who is the Ultron from uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. So I've not seen that film, so I don't know if he's a goodie or a baddie. Is Ultron a goodie or a baddie? Baddie. Thank you. He's a baddie. Maybe that's why. Maybe people don't want their kids dressed as the baddie. I don't know. But um, you, come on. You've got to give him a home. It's Halloween soon. You know, surely your kid will be like, oh, you know what? I, I really want to dress up as Ultron. <laughs> I don't know. But I think one more week and I'm going to have to just give it away, I think, because it's just it's not doing anything. Um, next up, The Reckless Afterlife of Harriet Stoker by Lauren James. I originally got this book uh, because I'd wanted to read it for so long. Um, and however, I ju it is good. I don't want to like be nasty about it, obviously, because I'm selling it. Um, but it just wasn't for me. I thought it was going to be a lot darker, a lot spookier, a lot creepier. But it, for me, it just wasn't as scary as I wanted it to be. And I do like my horror. Um, so, yeah, that's why I'm selling it, basically. But it is, it's cool. And Lauren James is a fantastic author. So I've got some clothes coming up in a bit. I just want to show you this bag here. Look, everything's all in bags. Um, people actually ask me where I put all my eBay stuff during the week. And uh, the answer is in uh, my spare room. So I'll just clear this out of the way. Um, in my spare room, I have bags and bags and bags of the eBay stuff. And obviously when they sell... Um, on, on the weekend, I, I normally put my listings on on a weekend, normally a Sunday because it's supposedly the best day to put eBay on. Um, sometimes I put stuff, you know, little bits and pieces on on a Saturday or maybe in the week. But in general, I tend to do my day as, as a Sunday. Um, me, as soon as things sell, you know, we'll take the bags down. Bless Nathan, he's so good. He helps me carry all the heavy bags down. And, you know, um, we have to sit and write <laughs> out all the addresses of people and package everything up, etc. So it is a hard work thing. It is a hard, uh, I enjoy it, I love it, but it is, is hard work having to do all the other bits and pieces. But yeah, everything is stored in the spare room until obviously it sells. And then every time I get new stuff, once again, that, that goes in the spare room. I'm rambling. Sorry. So anyway, let me show you these boots. These are freaking awesome. And uh, I'm, I'm being honest here because that is me. I'm, I'm honest. I'll tell you how it is. Um, I was going to keep these for myself. These were going to be for me, basically. Um, however, I decided that I'm not going to keep them. The first reason I'm not going to keep them is because they, they do fit, but they just feel a little bit uncomfortable. Like... Um, not not because they're bad, just because on me, they just feel, I'm not used to wearing boots like higher than my ankle, so it just feels a bit weird for me. Um, but there, there's nothing wrong with them physically, it's just I'm a bit fussy. But And then I also thought, what do they go with that I wear? Like when I was maybe like 18 or something, they'd have you know, been perfect with my little kind of emo, gothy look, but I just don't think they're me, but I do love them. Anyway, so these are on there. Uh, they are a size 6 maybe that's why they feel a bit weird on me because I'm a size five um, so maybe that's why and as you can see they're kind of like wellies like welly I have to be careful how I say that wellington boots wellies right okay um wellies boots they kind of look like Dr Martens in a weird way maybe that's just me I don't know um but yeah they, they're rubbery and uh got the black laces purple leopard print really kind of rock goth emo kind of style um i haven't done up the laces here unfortunately so someone or i, I did this one just to see how it fit on myself but um you will have to uh do the laces up again and stuff but yeah they're on there okay next up i have this brand new clock from next and uh, this is called a numbers wall clock so i assume most clocks have numbers on right anyway <laughs> but as you can see you've just got this just the numbers go around which is pretty cool it's quite a unique watch uh, watch clock originally uh it was 18 pound and i'm putting it on ebay a starting bit at two pound i mean you can't get a better bargain than that right surely what room would you have this in do you reckon Give me your comments, uh, let me know, because in the description box to uh, this item, it said, what room would this clock be suitable for? And I was like, I don't know. So I just put any in the end because I thought, well, you could have it in any room. You know, if your kitchen's this kind of colour in and polka dot, it would look nice. A bedroom, I don't know, it could be anywhere, really. Anyway, I'm moving on from the clock. But yeah, it's literally brand new from Next, not been opened. Um, I've got this random swimsuit here. <laughs> this is so small i i can even imagine being this slim it just it just wouldn't suit me i don't think not that i'm ever going to be that slim because i love chocolate and cake and cheese and 
yeah. But yeah, this is a size 8 from Primark. It's already got a bid on it, which is cool. But it's kind of like rainbow leopard print kind of style. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it is gorgeous. I love it. If it was bigger, I'd really like a top like this, actually. Um, but yeah, this is on there. Um, if fancy going swimming. And actually, this is kind of similar um, to the swimming suit. Hold on. This is a size 16 top from George. I know I said I was going to hang all the clothing up, which I will in a moment, but just because I'm sitting here, I'll do this. Um, and it, yeah, it's like this kind of similar-ish animal print, kind of rainbow coloured. It's got a little tie up at the front as well. Size 16 from George. All right, so I'm going to show you some clothing now. We've got bags of clothing here. So I'm just going to quickly like hang everything up here on a hanger and, and show you. Okay, let's do this. Okay, this is a dress from Primark. It's a size 18 and it's got bows all over it. Look, lots of bows. I had a stage where I used to wear so many like items of clothing with bow designs on. Um, but yeah, this is from Primark. Disney, cute. Disney clothing for a little baby, a little bubba. This is six to nine months, little baby grow here with Minnie Mouse on. Look at the little feet as well. It's so cute. I don't know how this isn't selling. Literally, it's been on there weeks, but I'm not giving up. I still think someone would want this because it's adorable. Originally from uh, Disney baby clothing at Primark. Okay, next up is this size 16 dress from Matalan. Like a brown, creamy colour. It's also got these really nice little like sequins as well. Like a little sequin detail. Okay, this t-shirt is also from uh, Primark. And it is a size 1820. And uh, it's just a grey t-shirt with this kind of retro design on. You've got the girl there. You've got the lipstick marks. You've got an eye looking at you. Looking into your soul. Um, so yeah, that is on there. Okay, next up we have this size 26 dress and it's absolutely beautiful. Look at it, it's like gold sequined dress. Uh, brand new with the tags. It's from somewhere called Club London. Um, now, I will be honest with you. As I said before, I'm honest. I'll tell you how it is. There are a few sequins missing. See, right at the bottom here, just little patches of sequins. I mean, literally, you can barely notice them. I only notice them because I know where they are, obviously. Um, so what I did on the eBay listing, I did put, you know, a photograph of the little missing sequins area and I said about it and also put, you know, there's no refunds given. I've been honest about it. Um, but you can barely notice it. I mean, look at it. You can't notice that tiny little patch not having sequins on. But I always like to be, you know, completely honest uh, with people that when, you know, when they're buying my stuff and that. So it's absolutely stunning dress. Look at it. Gorgeous. All right, this is a dress size um, 1XL. I'd say this is like a 16, 18, and a really lovely floral print. I'm saying it again. Actually, it's the first time I've said floral print. Basically, for those of you that don't know, every time I do an eBay what I'm selling video, um, I always tend to sell lots of floral uh, print things, whether it's dresses, tops, etc. And uh, I made a joke of it in the last video and said, you know, every time I say the words floral print, <laughs> you should have like a drink or something as a little game. Uh, but yeah, this is from, is it Sheehan? Shi she she Shein? Shi Shein? Shein? Anyway, it's, everyone's heard of them. Um, I've tried a few things from them before, but I, for me, I just find they don't fit very well. But so many people love them, um, including their plus size range. So maybe it's just my weird shaped body. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this has got bids already and watches. So I think this is going to do quite well. But if you want it, go get it. Okay, this top here is from New Look Inspire range, their plus size clothing range, and it is a size 24. Um, did I just say that? I can't remember. Anyway, so it's this lovely kind of mixture of colouring of like a yellow with a pink, like pastel. You get me? I like it. It's got elasticated bottom as well, which I always find very flattering. Um, kind of pouch it over a little bit. But yeah, this is on there. Okay, next up, we've got a bit of uh, stripes. You can't beat stripes, I think. Floral prints and stripes. I love them. Uh, this is a size 16 from, I think it was Peacocks. Oh, no, sorry, Matalan. Apologise, I got it wrong. It's from Matalan. Uh, so you've got the stripes going across, and you've also got the stripes going down. And if you see here, there's these little pockets here with the zips on. I don't think they're real pockets. Shh. Don't tell anyone. I think they're just for show. Um, but yeah, really nice long sleeved because it is going to be cold soon. It doesn't feel like it at the moment, but it is going to be cold soon. So get your, your knitwear. 
get it early okay next up we have this peacock size 16 dress and it is a floral print yeah lovely um dark blue color with these like little gray flowers okay this is a size 12 dress um to me this would be a maxi dress because it is quite long but i am very short so i don't know it looks like a maxi dress to me i'm um, loving the, the style of this dress and the coloring it's like really kind of warm rich orange vibe going on and you've got the blues and yellows as well um but yeah this is from next okay so just before i show you this dress i just want to quickly um say a few little random things to you first of all i now have channel memberships available on the channel so if you want to support the channel get some awesome perks just press that join button now to become a member of the one two three family also i'd really love for you to check out my other youtube channel which is called minx laura one two three asmr i'll put the link down below if you want videos to help you relax to help you sleep um just to you know have on in the background while you're doing stuff to relax you check out minx laura one two three asmr okay wow well, that's that i feel like i'm doing an advert there <laughs> and now back from the adverts so we're going to carry on with this green <laughs> green dress this is a size 14 from primark and what i love about about this dress the most i mean the color is gorgeous but is this kind of like i don't know what to call it like a ripple effect maybe i don't know how to describe it but it's really unusual it's really nice um like an a-line style so very flattering that is on there okay next up this is a size 16 jumper from sainsbury's which is uh two as in tu uh, as you can see very fluffy very 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 fluffy lovely blue color and it's also got like specks of silver if you can see in there like little specks of silver silver very sparkly very warm and cozy and fluffy fluffy next up is this size 18 dress from primark Yes, it's a floral print. <laughs> okay, this is from Dorothy Perkins, this top, and it is a size 20. Are these daisies? I don't know if they're like little daisies. They look like that to me. But um, yeah, a floral top. It's really weird, right? Because every time I try and take like, a video or a picture of something that's orange, it comes out looking red. Must be to do with their lighting in here, I don't know. But anyway, this is an orange jacket. It's a size 20. Um, I haven't hung it up very well, but there we go. It's got like zip details on the side here as well. Um, I don't know if this style, is it called a waterfall style? Maybe I'm imagining that. But yeah, this is uh, from Tesco's and it's bright orange, this jacket. But for some weird reason, it looks red. But take my word for it, it is orange. Okay, we've got a little cute dainty purse here. Now, I put this as vintage style, um, if it focuses. You're going to focus for me? Hello? Maybe you're not. I don't know. You can kind of see. It's got these little dangly bits here on the uh, little handle. And uh, it's like a lace feature. For some reason, it's not focusing. Maybe it's the lighting. I don't know. Um, like black and silver themed. Little dainty kind of vintage looking purse. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I just said okay, then pr press pause instead of record, ignore me. Okay, there we go. So next up, I've got this um, these bookends, and they're in like the style of a very old train, and these are really old retro collectible bookends right here, um, as you can see. I think they've been homemade, I don't know, maybe not. But yeah, they're wood, and um, I looked them up on eBay and some that are quite similar are selling for quite a bit no doubt mine won't mine will only go for like a pound um <laughs> but yeah they have got watches on them and stuff and by the way i know they look a bit dusty so i will be cleaning them up before i post them out to whoever wins these but yeah they're really unique looking um i don't need them because i've already got bookends but they are they are beautiful and very rare and like all wood look it's well cool Okay, this blouse or shirt, whatever you want to call it. I never know what to call them. Um, this is from Next, and it is a size 20. I don't know if these are like... I don't know. I originally thought they were birds, and then I thought, are they angel wings or something? Maybe they're neither. Maybe it's just the design. But to me, they look like kind of wings. Do you know what I mean? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But yeah, this is from Next, size 20. Okay, next up we have this lovely dress from Daymart. This is a size 22. I always do really well when I sell um, dresses or tops from Daymart. I don't know what the, the fascination is, but people obviously love 
they love the Daymart. And every time I put Daymart stuff on, I really sell them like reasonably well. So uh, this is on there, as I say, lovely dress here. Nice pattern, nice colouring. I just thought I'd show you really quickly this massive pile of stuff. <laughs> this is the stuff that I've been showing you. I'm going to have to put this all away soon. After this video, I'm going to put it all back in the bags again. <laughs> anyway. Next up, we have this top, uh, which is a size 22 stroke 24. As you can see, it is brown leopard print. Oh, I love leopard print. Let me know in the comment section if you love leopard print or if you hate leopard print. I quite like uh, a bit of leopard print, I have to say, but Nathan's not so keen, so I don't really tend to buy that much leopard print. It's not about, you know, he tells me what to wear, because obviously I wear what I want. It's just, I think, oh, I don't want him looking at me thinking, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But I've, I've still got a few leopardy things, but just not as many as I used to have. Um, but yeah, this is a really lovely top, nice and floaty, and it's from someone called Revolution, which I've not heard of, to be honest, um, but I'm sure they're an amazing brand. Okay, next up, we've got this horse themed top. This is a size 14 from Dorothy Perkins. And yeah, there's horses all over it. It's pretty much all I can say about this top. I mean, it's cool, but yeah, that is basically what it is. It's just horses everywhere. Look, they're there, they're there. And they're all different colored horses. You've got pink horses, brown, cream, look, all over. <laughs> just horse, horses everywhere. Okay, this top is a size 22 from F and F, which is Tesco's. Um, once again, the zip thing. That's a theme this week, isn't it? Look, all these tops and dresses and stuff and jackets. We've got these fake pockets with little zips and stuff detail. Um, yeah, blue and black and white colouring. Quite funky design. Okay, next up is, uh, well, we've went from horses before to butterflies. <laughs> so, yeah, this is from Sainsbury's size 16, and it's this top with loads of butterflies on them. Oh, and flowers as well, butterflies and flowers. Um, I like flowers, but they give me really bad hay fever allergies and make me sneeze and feel rubbish. And I like butterflies to look at, but they scare me because I don't like things flying towards me. Um, so this top would probably be no good for me. <laughs> So I'm not going to get the whole skirt out because I'm kind of running out of space. But this is from Marks and Spencer's size 20 skirt. It's this lovely purple colour and it's that um, kind of cool joy material. It's got like a floral print on it as well um, with like different shades of purple. But yeah, nice skirt. It's been on there a few weeks now, not selling. So, you know, hopefully someone will buy it. It's like an A-line skirt, you know, very nice. <laughs> I'm trying to really pimp this skirt out. <laughs> Okay, next up is this lovely jacket. It's uh, size 20 from GD25. Now, here's the thing, right? I mean, it is quite funky. It's a bit out there, very sparkly as well. Um, I love the square silver buttons. They're really cool. But here's the thing. When I first got it, I just thought, oh, that's a nice jacket. It's a bit kind of out there. Someone might like it. Um, I'd never heard of GD25. Anyway, when I did some research, I actually found that this jacket is from uh, Marks and Spencer's. So, and people are selling it for like, you know, quite high amounts, but I'm not being greedy. I'm just putting it as two pound starting bid. But um, yeah, it's originally from Marks and Spencer's. I think the best thing about it is these silver buttons though. They're pretty funky. Okay, this is definitely a vintage top. It's from Etam. Does anyone remember Etam? I mean, I do, obviously. I used to go to Etam and uh, also Tammy Girl, Tammy Girl part of Etam. And uh, when I was a kid, well, well, I don't know, probably early teenager, uh, my mum would take me to Tammy Girl and oh, just used to love it. All the clothes are amazing, the accessories. And um, yeah, Etam were like, you know, together with Tammy Girl. But sometimes as I got older, I would go in, you know, Etam as well. Anyway, this is a really boring story for you anyway. <laughs> but anyway, Etam um, no longer exists, hence this is, you know, collectible kind of rare vintage clothing because, you know, you, you do sell stuff like from either CNA, Etam, um, BHS, that obviously these shops are no longer in existence. If people love shopping there, um, you know, now they can't ever get any stuff because they're closed, they will go on eBay and they'll search for them and they do sell quite well. So hoping this uh, really cool kind of uh, blue and white graffiti style, I reckon, is that graffiti style, uh, top will do well. I'll say that and it'll probably not even sell, but look, I'll take a risk. <laughs> Next up, I have this size 16 shirt, blouse. What do you say? Do you say blouse or shirt? I don't know. Um, from New Look, and it's like a sheer material. It doesn't look sheer, but look, I promise you it is. You can see my hand for it. Um, it's like dark navy and red checked. Kind of tartan. 
but not, you know? Next up is this really, 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 really cute <laughs> size 18 to 20 from Primark t-shirt with Winnie the Pooh on it. Look, chasing his heart-shaped balloon. Um, originally, I was going to keep this, um, but I thought, you know what, I need the money. eBay is supposed to be, you know, the stuff I get for eBay is supposed to help me and, and give me money and profit. And uh, it doesn't really help when I keep the stuff. But <laughs> sometimes it's really hard. I see stuff and I think, oh, I don't want to sell it. I want to keep it for myself. But anyway, I've put it on eBay because uh, I know there's a lot of people love the Disney. Disney clothing normally sells quite well and it is so, you know, plus size clothing as well. So I'm going to say, I mean, if it doesn't sell, let's put it this way, I won't be upset, if you know what I mean, because I'll probably keep it. But um, it's really cute, look. Winnie, go grab your balloon. Okay, this top here is from Next. It's a size 10, and it's got watermelon design. I think they're watermelons. To me, they look like watermelons. No? Yeah, maybe, I think so. Okay, this top is a size 16 from Sainsbury's 2. I like the lace around the top bit. Okay, next up is this really, really cute little My Little Pony t-shirt. Um, unfortunately, it's not an adult's t-shirt. If it would have been, I'd have wore it. <laughs> uh, it is, what age is it? Hold on. Age four to five years. So uh, this has been on there a couple of weeks. Still not sold, which shocked me because I thought everyone loved a bit of My Little Pony. Um, but yeah, that's on there. As is this super cute little m, &M World dress. Look, so cute. There she is posing and pouting and um it's like a tartan material brand new with tags as well look from m m's world so that, i think that was an age nine if i remember rightly hold on yeah nine nine to ten so uh cute little dress here this is from blue chameleon once again blouse shirt i don't know i would call this one a blouse i think uh, it's that sheer material floral print yes you've guessed it um i actually did get this for myself but it was way too big on me so i would say it's sort of size wise you're looking at i don't know it depends on how loose and, and baggy you want it do you know what i mean how floaty you want it you could wear it as an 18 20 or 22 as well i reckon it's got a little bit creased in the bags not gonna lie but it's still very nice <laughs> it's a marks and spencer size 20 black uh, and white trimming jacket this is a size 18 sparkly silver jumper from marks and spencers uh, it doesn't look as sparkly on camera oh here it is yeah look it's sparkling this has been on there a couple of weeks hasn't sold um but i love this i think it's so nice it's so sparkly this top is from Next, it's a size 18. And yes, a floral print and some insects as well. Ugh. I'm scared of insects. I know they're not real, but it still scares me a bit seeing them on here. <laughs> and just before I show you the last item, which is this, um, I just want to say it's the end of the video. So thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you're still awake. I know it's been a long one, <laughs> but there was, as you can see, a lot of stuff to show <laughs> look at this massive pile it's like a mountain um but yeah please click like comment share subscribe and uh, also make sure you've got your notification bell smashed please put your notifications to all um if you, you can choose what option you want on the notification setting so set them to all uh, because otherwise you won't get notified uh and you know surely you want to know when i'm doing a live show surely you want to know when i've uploaded new content if the answer to that is yes and make sure your content and um, your notification bell is clicked to uh, yes and all. I'm not with it, sorry. Uh, it's been a long video, as you can tell. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you click like, comment, share, subscribe, smash notification bell. Don't forget to check out MinxLaw123 ASMR, my other YouTube channel. Uh, Twitter is at MinxLaw123 and Instagram is MinxLaw123. So there we go. And this is the last item. It is from Sainsbury's size 16, pink and white top. And boom, we are done here. That is it. No more. Uh, next week, as I say, we've got some um, a Christmas duvet set. I've got lots of different plus size clothing. There's uh, some books. There's always books. I always sell books. Um, and we'll see. There's some other random things, including a dog fancy dress as a unicorn. Dog like fancy dress. Anyway, watch next week in the next installment of what I'm selling on eBay video. <laughs> All right, everyone. Take care. See you later. Bye. Got to tidy all of this up now. Fun, fun. <laughs> you make jerkins. When I was... No, it's not doing it now.